we're all being faced with our mortality and our and our absurd, you know, humanity. I might yeah. disagree so, a tiny bit, only because I, I think- Don't ever disagree with me! <laughs> <laughs> There's a first time for everything. It's a pretty crazy place to, uh, to start the new season, for yeah. sure. Surreal, asking, freaking unbelievable crap. Yeah, that I will you won't say, be able to deal yeah, with. Yeah, that's true. Like it's kind of like those like super fast car movies. I'm not sure if you can handle it. <laughs> you, you, are you saying they can't handle the truth? I'm not sure if they can. I'm not sure if they're ready for season two. <laughs> it's faster. It's louder. It's faster, weird. louder. More explosions for sure. Actually, that's true. It <laughs> <laughs> is true. There are more explosions. It's like somewhere early on. All of us, you know, our family, got in this hot air balloon that was, uh, you know, uh, puppet time, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> this wonderful, childish, you know, innocent creation with Jeff at the helm, and he uh, is now uh, dealing with the, deflu the, the balloon deflating mm -hmm. over the Pacific. <laughs> and. Uh, and okay, what do we do now? And I really think like the, the first season was him, he had completely convinced himself that that's who he is mm -hmm. and, and, and there's nothing else. It's just that innocent, wonderful uh, kind of uh, ambition and uh, desire he has to heal the world, you know? And now he's the one that needs healing and the family's the one that needs healing and uh, the balloon is coming down and he's trying to keep it up. Uh, like most of the characters, I think all of the characters in the show, we're all trying to keep up this uh, certain altitude. I think that we're representing like all the sides of, you know, regular people. Like life is difficult and it's hard and so we're showing you that sometimes it can also be ridiculous and that you can be loving to one person and terrible to another. Mm -hmm. and. You know, it's all shades of gray. We don't want to make the show sound unfun either. It is just a romp this year. Beautiful. It's gone to it's another miraculous. level of absurd, of surreal, really musical, is. fun, you know, really funny and fun stuff, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it, with this super serious molten core. He has a lot to work on. A he's lot of material. busy and yet he, but he cranks out these paintings and drawings. It's sitting, like... And it would just be, and I just, you know, I think yeah. that once you kind of open the door for creativity and really let it let it in, it's, it just can go anywhere and it can go anywhere simultaneously. It's kind of like if Paul Revere could paint. Oh, <laughs> so true. That's, that's it, there's, so true. Yeah. there's this talent that's always been there, but it evolved into this thing because there is such a dire need for warning. Yeah. It's pretty, I will say, I saw the show in Los Angeles and seeing all of the work together, and it's not even all of it, but seeing so much of it together, like in order it's that it was curated wild. in like you're walking around and you're seeing what you've been living it's, yeah. it's like obsessed, very yeah. upsetting in the best possible way. Like you're really, it's so much greater than just seeing like one or two. I just. It's just it's great like, to have somebody to see somebody going like, oh, he thinks exactly what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. You know, and we need that. We need that because it's just a world of misinformation, mm -hmm. and right blatantly in our faces. It's like you know, oh, I'm going to lie to you now, and then you're gonna, you know, and and some of you, most of you, will believe it and that, that's okay with me, so I don't care how. There's no shame involved, there's no nothing. It's just like, <laughs> it's an absurd place we're in, an absolutely absurd place, so necessity caused that to happen. You know, I needed to have a place. I knew tw Twitter would turn into something interesting sooner or later for me. Yeah. Uh, at, at first it was just, you know, uh, a, another canvas to play around with, and now it's, uh, it's become kind of an essential outlet for me. I have to have it, I have to do it.